What you're about to see is a video that is going to launch our annual giving initiative. It's that time of the year, about a year ago, we, if you remember, we launched our Breathe Love Giving Initiative. Uh, this helps us to, uh, our leadership uh, board and our finance team helps us to plan for the next year and our future. Um, and so uh, I'm gonna invite Paul Dixon to come up uh, following the video, Paul's going to share just a little bit about that, and we'll, we'll be doing this over the next uh, three or four weeks, and you'll, you'll be hearing a lot more about it, but we wanted to start with um, this video that focuses on our kids. One of the things I've realized over many years of doing this is that, um, that uh, strong churches have strong kids' ministries. And that, um, and you'll, you'll hear me say this over the next few weeks, but um, uh, Park has a legacy of strong kids' ministries, children and youth. And coming out of a pandemic, or coming even in a pandemic, the, a lot of the things, a lot of things that go through our minds is, a, is sort of, we think we can't do something. We can't, we can't do this, we can't do that because of the pandemic. Well, I want to sort of change that narrative and say, yes, we can do things. That we're not going to be stopped by uh, this pandemic. Uh, we're going to look forward, we're going to move into the future. And, uh, and one of the ways we're going to move into the future is to focus on our kids. When you focus on kids, you also get to know their families. And when you get to know their families and they be part of this community, then our, then our church grows and it strengthens and it becomes more and more healthy. Uh, I'm going to leave the rest of this to Paul, but I wanted to introduce this video to you. Our focus for our uh, 2022 uh, giving initiative for this next year operations budget for our whole budget with the focus on kids is on the block for the block our kids With God's help, will you live the gospel of Jesus Christ? Will you embody faith? Will you embody hope? Will you embody love? Will you praise for Jeremiah's journey, his journey of discipleship? And will you not only pray, but will you invest in that journey as well? If so, say, That was a very inspiring video, right? Uh, my name is Paul Dixon, and I'm a member of the finance team and the church leadership board. And today is a day to begin the 
2022 giving campaign. And as you take a look at the video that was just shown, that gives you um, an idea of where we would like to go. Most importantly, you know, we will still do all the things that we have been doing as a church, but the goal for 2022 and beyond is to focus more on our youth, because obviously youth are our future and our present also. So the finance team, along with the uh, leadership board, we've set a goal of $553,000 in what we want to see in actual pledge cards that are filled out. And you'll actually be getting a letter from Pastor Greg this week that will give more details about the campaign and where we want to go and what we want our church to become for 2022 and beyond. So for myself, personally, I've been attending Park Avenue since 1997, so that's uh, quite a few years. Uh, grew up not quite in the mile radius, a uh, mile and a quarter, 35th and 23rd. However, had a cousin that lived a couple blocks away. I actually played in a basketball league on the blacktop uh, a few years ago, so I've been aware of Park Avenue for pretty much my entire life. So I thought, why is it that I attend Park Avenue? And why do I give to Park Avenue? As I deeply thought about it, there were two reasons. First reason is that I truly feel God has called me to be a part of this church. That's by far and away the most important reason. The second reason is that I believe in the potential of Park Avenue. I'm going to say that one more time. I believe in the potential of Park Avenue. And when I say potential, it's very apparent that our world, our city, our neighborhood is going through a really challenging time, extremely challenging time. However, I truly believe that Park Avenue can help and lead and guide more people to Christ so more people can depend on Christ and the Father and do what they're truly supposed to do within their lives. To me, that's the most important thing in my walk of faith, is truly listening to what God is calling me to do. And there'll be things, or there have been things that have happened that I didn't want to do, but I kept getting the nudge from above and just kept on continuing. But that is the most important thing to me, is what is God calling me to do? And you also. As I look at myself personally in the campaign for next year, I have decided to commit an additional 5% of the giving that, uh, that I have for, uh, for the church. It's possible that it could be more, but at least 5%, because I truly believe that we can do some amazing things within this neighborhood. So what I ask you to do is prayerfully consider what God is leading you to do. Not just at Park Avenue, but your entire life. Your entire life. And the more that you step into that, the more I believe that you will have a fulfilling life and truly end up doing what the Lord has called you to do. Thank you.